Um, just a regular old bucket of stamps. Of stamps. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. Should we? I don't think it makes a difference. Well, I've gotta. Okay, let's snoop. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling boldly. Oh, no! <sighs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. She's perfect! Perfect mom. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown, oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Delicious water sausages. You peek inside. Skin Whoa! It's Toriel's sock drawer. Oh, wow! Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. <laughs> Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. It's you! It's you! Despite everything, it's still you. Yes. Oh! It is a water sausage! No, oh, we read about those! That's amazing! Oh! Oh yeah, it's the water sausage. Okay, what's over here first? She's reading by the fireplace. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. It's not. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Whoa, when, oh, this seems kind of mean to ask, when can I go home? Yep. Uh, we don't need anything. Yeah, no, we're fine. I want more well, pie! Talk to me again if you need anything. More pie? I would like more pie. Pretty sure the pie is in our pocket. Oh, it's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. Clever. I mean, it's, just, it's descriptive. It is. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Okay, what's up here? Is this the kitchen? Is there more pie? Actually, yeah, do I? There it is, butterscotch pie. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat. No, I want it. It's too big. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. You know, elbow grease. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. What, you don't put your your candy bars in the fridge? I do. Especially in the summer, it's great. Alright. Go downstairs. Oh, chocolate it changes the texture. That's true. Oh, God! I think you should play upstairs instead. No, what's down here? Toriel, what's in your the dungeon with the awful music? I'm going back. <laughs> it is dangerous to play here. Why do you have a danger dungeon in your basement, Toriel? All right, fine. I'll just walk outside. We can do a save. Yeah. Is she going to come collect me? 
I don't think so. Am I am I am I free to mosey? Oh hey. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. I feel like Oh my god, it's a knife! Oh my god. What have you got there? A knife! No! No! You found the toy knife. Ha ha ha! Can I use it? Yes. Oh, it's equipped. Nice. Now I can stab. You're not gonna stab. Hey, nap stab look! Look what I got! Stab! Wow! No, I'm not gonna do that. Hey, new mom, check out this knife I found. I'm writing with a knife. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure, tell me about it. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? A radula? Do I they... don't know how that's pronounced. Wait, do they really? I have no idea. Uh, interesting. Yeah, that's super interesting if it's real. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Hey, chat, look up to see if snails have chainsaw tongues. They do? Holy shit. It's, uh, okay. I mean, that tracks. All right, I think I need to ask her how to leave the ruins. Yeah. What is it? I have to do something. Stay here. Alright, I'll just play with my knife. Ah, snails eat by sandpapering leaves. Uh, she seems to have bounced. She new, certainly does. New mom? Hey, new mom? No, you're not here. New mom? She's probably downstairs in the... The murder dug, basement. The murder basement. Yeah. New mom. I'm running with a knife. New I mom, I'm scared. You wish to re you wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now, be a good child and go upstairs. Oh no. Nope. We're new, a bad child. New mom! New mom, I think it's a bad idea. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. But I have this knife. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No. No. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. No, Mom! You want to leave so badly. Hmm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh, no! Toriel blocks the way. I'm going to talk at her. Yes. I couldn't think of any conversation topics. You look so stern. Whoa, 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 whoa! New mom! No! I tried to think of something to say again, but... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Yikes. 
Mom, stop burning me! Remember what the frog is said. Oh, that I could still... Sometimes I could do uh, Mercy when they're white? Yep. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Whoa! She looks oh, through me! Through you, damn. And sometimes you have to do it several times. Oh god. Ooh. I think we can eat something. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat the spider donut. Gotta eat the spider donut. Whoa! Whoa! She's acting aloof! Oh my god, this is crazy. Ah. Uh, stop looking through me. I'm gonna eat Mom, I'm gonna eat this pie you gave me. Ugh. Oh. Oh god. Stop looking through me! What are you doing? I'm trying not to die! Attack or run away! Alright, I'll flee now, after this. Uh, I'll flee? I should flee. I think we should continue to spare. Okay. I don't know, man. I'm not proving a whole lot. Fight me or leave. No, I don't want to fight my new mom. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop casting fireballs at me! Oh, now they're avoiding me now! Oh, yeah, she can't get you. Oh my god, that's awesome! Go away! I'm trying! Aha, you can't hit me! You can't hit me! I'm too adorable! <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought! Go. I know you want to go home, but spare. Yeah. But please go upstairs now. Spare. I promise I will take good care of you here. You shot me with so many fireballs. He was trying to get you to go to your room. I know we do not have much, but. We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Because I'm a child. It's what I do. Yep, yep. Please go upstairs. You're making her so sad. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Why don't you come with me? New party know, member right? get. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. Yeah. Hey, can you heal me? Can, Mom, can you hear me? Heal me? Goodbye, my child. Mom? Mom, heal me! I have two HP. Please heal me. Oh, 
Oh, God damn it. Uh, well, I'm going back to Rhett now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there will be something. There's got to be a save point at the other end of this. Everyone's silent, waiting with beta. No, you son of a bitch! Oh, no! Oh, well, I have a knife now. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. No, I'm going to Steven Universe it and just hug them forever. Yep. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Flowey, dude. Chill the I love how fuck goes from out. Zero to one hundred in an yeah, instant. There's there's no middle ground. It's yeah. just the sliders maxed out regardless. Yep, no middle sliders. Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? Who the fuck are you? I know, right? I am the prince of this world's future. I like how he answered your question. I I okay. I mean, fair. Yeah. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Are you the fucking devil? Oh, no. Yikes. <clears throat> uh. Bye. Flowey is the most unsettling goddamn thing I've ever seen. Welcome to Undertale, bud. Oh, God. Wow. Hey, Toby Fox, you just slapped my nuts into my throat. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, guys, I think we got to end the stream. Ant's got to go to a doctor. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. We're good. How am I doing okay. on health? Not great. Not okay, great. let's it's do fine. Let's fucking do this. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad no one is disappointed in my reaction to Flowey. Oh God. It's fine. Just keep going. Nah. Nah. What the fuck is? Nah. We're fine. Soman, run! Run, Soman! <laughs> oh yeah, no, this is totally fine. Oh my god! Is it who I think it is? It might be who you think it is. Oh, what voice do I give him? Does I mean, he... he's being a creep right now, so you can change it up once he stops I being mean, a creep. I mean, doesn't he kind of have like a raspy voice? Isn't that like what fandom kind of goes with? I he... think the, his little voice bubble, like the little noise his voice is, is deeper. Okay. Yeah. Human? Don't you know... How to greet a new pal. Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> Did he just make a really loud fart noise? Wow. Wow. <laughs> The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? All right, I can try and match the tone of the word, like the actual, like... Yeah, his... It's kind of doing that Banjo-Kazooie thing, like when Banjo would be like, Oh, yuck! A little bit, yeah. That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans a skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know... 
I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> shaped exactly like so much. <laughs> Sup, bro? I mean, I gotta do the, the Wilhelm. You gotta do the wacky skeleton voice, yeah. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days. You still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! No, I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Since you are not helping you, lazy bones! All you do is sit and bone doggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Are you really? <laughs> this character was made for you. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Sans. <laughs> <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, you can come out now. Why? Why is this here? <laughs> <laughs> you want to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I mean, I'm, I'm, I listen. I would watch the Sands and Papyrus show forever. I know, right? What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting, sitting inside. Not shitting inside, that's different. That's very different. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Oh, thank God. It is the safe point. The conven convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. It's, yeah. it's Snowden. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. It's a Resident Evil storage. Uh, wait, does tough it, glove. what is a tough glove? I'm gonna put the stick away. I don't need that. Where did they get the stick? I, I don't know, but I wanna know what's up with the tough glove. Okay, that's tough glove now. All right. Uh, Did we I, take off our ribbon though? Uh, I'll find out. Snow Drake. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell a joke to the the, the snow drake. Okay. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. It smells like a wet pillow. Oh! Ugh. Uh, I'm gonna laugh. Let's laugh with it. <laughs> you laugh at Snow Jake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Whoa, whoa! Snow Drake is assessing the crowd. We can try checking it. Because it'll give us a little information about it. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Oh, okay. Huh. Ice puns are snow problem. Wait, teen comedian? I gotta give him a different voice. Oh, no. <laughs> snow Drake is assessing the crowd. Uh, I'm gonna heckle him. Okay. You boo the Snow Drake. Insults towards humans! <laughs> there it is. Snowdrake realized its own name is a pun and is freaking out! Alright, I'm gonna tell another joke. A bad ice pun. I've heard that one! Ah! Why can't I show you mercy yet? My spuds are snow problem! Ow. Ah. Oh, there we go. You laugh at Snow Jake's pun. I got it. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! <laughs> snow Drake is pleased with its cool joke. There we go. Alright, let me heal up again. Alright, go north. It, it's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Uh, yeah. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. I decide not to call... What? No, I would call them. I want to know. Can I see it again? Uh, photo weird looking monster. Okay. I, I think I know what this is in reference to. I, but I want to call. I want to know who the weird looking monster is. I'm going to straight up... her later. I'm going to straight up Lyos Dungeon Meshy it. So, as I was saying about Undine... Music is so good. I know. Sans! Oh my god, is that a human? No. Uh, actually, I, I think that's a rock. Ow! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undine will! I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 <laughs> human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. I would love to know how he can wink with a face made of bone. Uh, don't question it. Ice Cap struts into view. Look at this little guy. Look at it, he's just a little guy. 
I'm gonna compliment him. Okay. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Whoa! Whoa. It's snowing dandruff. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. That's I'll, I'll steal his hat. Gah. You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. But it's not weakened enough. What? Help! Fashion police! Oh god, oh god! Yikes. Oh my god! And they come back down. Here comes that new clothes smell. Um. Check. This team wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Snow? No. Um, it's, well, alright. It's hat residue. It's hat residue. Ugh. Dandruff. Okay, so I just can't make sure its hat is still there. Do I have to fight it to knock its hat off? No. Because, like... I think you can go through without doing any fighting at all. Ignore, maybe? Yeah, We haven't tried ignoring him. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here! Ice Cap is secretly checky if you're looking at its hat. Maybe ignore it again. I'm gonna ignore it again, because yeah. Yeah. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Better a hatter than a hater. Whoa! Whoa! Ice Cap is desperate for attention. Ah, now we mercy. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. <clears throat> I, I'm sure no one is shocked by the fact that I fucking love Papyrus. Nope. Absolutely no moving. something move? What is it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo! Uh... Can I pet? I shouldn't pet the doggo. Well, let's check him first. Let's yeah. It's a hint. Easily excited, Easily excited by movement. Hobbies, Hobbies and sweet squirrels. Don't move an inch. Oh, that was easy. Yep. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Uh, I'm gonna pet him now. We have to pet him. <laughs> <laughs> you pet Doggo. Ah! What? I've been pet! <laughs> Doggo has been packed. And now we can send Doggo on his way. Damn, we're rich. Something pet me. Something that is moving. I'm going to need some dog treats for this. Bye, Doggo. Oh. Looks like there's some dog treats over there. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Oh my god, there's dog treats. Someone's been smoking dog treats. That's not how you imbibe dog treats, doggo. Very strange. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? But fighting, think about blue stop signs. Sans now. What? Sans, it makes no sense. Whee! Can I hit the sign? It's there we go. Sans sounds like a slightly less depressed Garfield. Oh my god, you're right! Oops. Uh, North Ice, South Ice, West Ice, East Snowden Town. And ice. And ice. All right. You're right, Rio. A little bit like a 
like Rodney Dangerfield, yeah. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! That's called sleeping, Papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I think that's just called sleeping. Wow. Alright. Alright. Excuses, excuses! Oh ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you will find this one quite shocking! For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze! When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap! Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Uh, uh, oh no! Uh, Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even better. He's going to solve the puzzle for us. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. I just want to go, like, around. But I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll play his little game. That's, I want to be accurate. I love Papyrus's theme. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily, too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be so easy! It is designed by my brother, Sans! You will surely be confounded! I know I am! <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Aww. These Skelebros are so good. Hi. Hey. Uh, I don't understand why these things aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something gold. Uh, oh, a customer. H Hello, would you like some nice cream? Yes. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, just 15 G. Here you go. Have a super duper day. I got the nice cream. Hell yes. I want some All ice right. cream. I got ice cream sandwiches at the store yesterday, and oh, yeah. I, I'm so happy I did. I haven't had them in a while, and I'm like, yes, ice cream sandwiches. Nice. Assuming I'm doing this right. I think we need to go talk to Sans up there. Oh, he's up here. Oh, there he is. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? Which is 5G. Yeah, sure. Is it just water? I think it's just water. But, I mean, hey. Yeah? Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. No. No. You're right. That's still too low. Uh... Alright, yeah. Oh, okay. No, you're right. I should charge way more than that. Uh, oh, okay, it's... Ah. I see what I gotta do. No, no! There we go. No! <laughs> No soccer, snocker, snacker. Oh, my God. Yes, yeah. Purple, even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of the ball. You were awarded 2G. Oh, okay. Oh. What's this? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a s snow decahedron. 
All right. Yeah. I solved it. Okay. Well, you got nothing else then. Okay. He just wants to talk about selling treats. Ooh. Hello. His. Hers. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman white. Snowman white rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans green rating. Destroy at all costs. Uh, okay. Hmm. I don't get that at all. No. Nope. I'll, I'll figure it out. Aha! Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. <laughs> hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Can I actually do anything with it? Cigars. What? Okay, at some point, Sans just gave up because glass freaking with her. Yep. And then hot. <laughs> Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I know I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby boats. Unbelievable! Human, solve this dispute! Which is harder? The crossword. The crossword. Always. Yeah. You two are weird. Crosswords is so easy. It's the same solution every... What? <laughs> it's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> I just, Sans just looks at the camera like, yeah. <laughs> yep. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Alright, let me see first. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Microwave plugged into anything? Uh, it's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap <laughs> designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. Yeah. All the settings say spaghetti. Oh my god, Papyrus hat! Where did you get this? Yeah. Yeah. 